This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, which of the values of z would not satisfy the inequality 3 minus z greater than 7? So let's solve this inequality algebraically for z. We have 3 minus z greater than 7. Uh, to get started, we're going to get z by itself by subtracting 3 from both sides. This crosses out, leaving you with negative z on this side greater than 7 minus 3 is 4. Again, we're trying to find the values of z, not negative z. So uh, to clear this negative in front of z, we're going to divide both sides of this inequality by negative 1. Now, as far as inequalities are concerned, you need to know this. Whenever you multiply or divide across the inequality sign by a negative value, that's going to prompt you to ch change the direction of the sign or flip it. In this case, I divided both sides by negative 1. So my next step is to flip the direction of the inequality sign. Again, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So this just becomes positive z over here. 4 divided by negative 1 is going to be negative 4. Again, a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So let's solve this one visually. Uh, we're going to plot this on a line graph here. We're going to go to negative 4. So this is negative 3 negative 2, negative 1, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and so on and so forth. We're going to go to negative 4, which is right here. Since this is less than, we're going to put an open circle above negative 4 so as not to include negative 4 in our solution. And z is all the values that are less than negative 4. So that's going to be negative 5, negative 6, and negative 7, and so on and so forth. So we put an arrow above all those values to show that they're included in our solution. So negative 10 works, negative 6 works, uh, and negative 5 works. Negative 3 is not included in our solution set. So the correct answer to this one is D. Uh, negative 3 does not satisfy this inequality. You can see that visually down here. But if you want to see it algebraically, let's go ahead and see what that looks like. We have 3 minus Z greater than 7. And we're saying in this case, uh, z is negative 3. So let's plug in negative 3 for z. This becomes 3 minus negative 3 greater than 7. Minus minus becomes plus. 3 plus 3 is 6. Is 6 greater than 7? It is not. So therefore, we know negative 3 does not satisfy this inequality. Again, we saw it visually down here, and we just saw it algebraically over here. So that is that one.